Hello and welcome Happy back to Old Mother 3. Last time we found Last time we found Duster and uh, reunited the party for the first full time. Uh, and now we have ominousness. So do you know anything about this game? <laughs> no. I know nothing. Okay, perfect. Uh, I don't we feel will like probably not explain any of yeah, it. Yeah, I, I think that would be a, a bit much. Yeah, don't don't worry about that. I just won't question anything that's happening. Okay. <laughs> You'll probably pick up on at least some of the context. Probably. I'm also slightly reorganizing my entire bookshelf while we do this. Good. And that's apparently fine. discovering tea. Discovering tea. Yeah. There's. What, how do you feel about sweet potato pie tea? What the hell? I, I don't like That's it. That's what at all. I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. Oh, good. Bony still has the outfit. <laughs> yes. Why is he still pretending to be a person? I don't know. You can be people if you want. This reminds me of the owl bear that we had in our DD campaign. Yes. We got to dress him up. So anyway, we're not going that way. Oh, uh, are we wandering off to go find enemies so we can make them turn around? Uh, yes, but there's also something specific I gotta do. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ah. Uh. That sign looks like a fish. It probably yes. is. It's the cool fish from... What's it called? What was that game that we played? Hat in Time. Oh, the fish. Oh, uh, why is it a mole? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. Looks like a potato. So yeah, um, one thing that I'm going for in this game is, uh, which is not actually required, but does mark- it is tracked, is, uh, what the hell's with this text glitch? Yeah, what? Huh. Tasmily map. Yeah. B. There it is. <laughs> Battle memory. Strange lines. So basically, um, these enemies Thank all you. have, like, back sprites, almost all of them, and I'm going for Sorry. them. So, yeah. That shield had a good face. Yes. It did. Are we going for Batangutan? Yes, I am. Oh, no, it has the scary music. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the scary music. Oh, I didn't get to see its front spray. Good. Good. Oh, what the hell is this pig flower? It's a pig tunia. If you fill it with water, it will explode. Man, what the hell? That was the weirdest mechanic in Sunshine. Well, no, the weirdest mechanic was the springboard that would shrink and grow if you sprayed it. Oh yeah, the thing that was, like, relevant one time ever. Yeah. The pigs were definitely also weird, though. Oh no. Uh, I guess they changed PK Fire because it used to only work on one thing. I think Fire is what they're too, right? Well, it, in Earthbound, it hits a row of enemies. It, did it hit both of them here? Yeah, it did. Yeah. Oh, bro, come on. Bro. Sorry, I'm trying to check the weaknesses. Are they weak to leg staples? They might Are be. they weak to legs, Johnson? No, there is no legs, Johnson. The thing, the thing that is best against them, status-wise, is sleep. Uh, looks sure. like you do want to use fire. I do like how leg staples are like an actual thing the game has to check for, though. Yes. I guess Dusta could use that. Let's see. 
Actually, I don't know what the rhythm is for this one, so... What are you Very doing? shuffling noises. Oh shit, sorry, I thought I muted. <laughs> it's fine. Because I was like, this is probably going to be loud, I'll mute, and then I guess I missed the button. Because I'm bad. Bad? Bad. And there we go. Yeah. Yeah, how, how many, uh, hmm? how many older enemies have to be, like, gone back to at some point? A lot. <laughs> Good. So how do you get the back sprite? You can either run into the back of the enemy, or if failing that, you can, um... Uh, also, that, I love this. <laughs> failing that, you can use the Siren Beetle, or a, uh, Made You Look, or whatever it's called, which is an item that does it. Oh. Alright, what are you weak to? God. I'm surprised that you're bothering to look that up instead of just using normal attacks. Eh. I'm only gonna fight these a little bit, so... I'm not gonna grind off of them. Harder. These things are pretty strong, apparently, so... Hashtag trade, hashtag, hashtag construction life, hashtag five gallon, hashtag what are you bucket. Weak to? <laughs> mm, crying is the best it looks like. So arbitrary. Yeah, kinda. I'm generally not a fan of, like, random Ooh. enemy weaknesses in RPGs like that, where it's like, you know, Pokemon has a whole system where everything oh, no. has a type and it's consistent, but with, like, random RPG monsters, you're never gonna know. It's like, you can make an educated oh, okay. guess sometimes, but, like, why is the cattle snake weak to crying? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> why is the cattle snake weak to crying? <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Certain characters enjoy cheese. Yeah. Uh, I don't particularly want to fight you right now. Come on. I've mentioned this before, but I really hate the mechanic of only having a chance to run away in RPGs. I think it's stupid and doesn't and shouldn't be a thing. Yeah. It's generally obnoxious. <laughs> so am I just gonna go all the way back here to the free heal? Yeah, because if you fail like a Oh runaway, hey, it was Chandler's hair again. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, because the other video where we talked about it is probably going up in, like, a week. <laughs> where is this one going very up funny. tomorrow? Um, oops. Oh, oh boy. I can't run now. Yeah, She's feeling the Torres. She's on a period. Yeah. All right, um, I need the front sprite for the Batangutan. <laughs> I think the best enemy pun name in this game is an unwelcome gust. Yes. I hate that I can't read the word plight without thinking Lowland Toad Weasel. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Because so I'm reading like the back of this book and it's like the more time she spends with the trolls and the more she understands their plight. <laughs> and Does then I of him? course thought the plight of the Lowland Troll Weasel. <laughs> Good. Froggy! Uh, that that doesn't sound like Fatal Heaven. I don't know. It is. It is. But... Stolen Songbird. I don't know where this book came from, but I apparently bought it at some point in my life. Ah. Uh, uh, the Great Treasure Hunt. The Great Treasure Hunt. Okay. Uh, so we need to head back across the railway and get some of this shit. Okay. Paralysis. Nice. Yeah, a thing that we probably won't use. I probably will. 
but you have to find out if an enemy is susceptible to it or not. Yep. Yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get the rhythm to that one. I know what it is. It's bum, 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 but it just doesn't work because the stupid emulator like offset. Don't remember if I got the backs rights for you guys, so. These are like the the helicopter mice from uh Shovel Knight. Really flying maps. It's because the, the other one was with the wings was just called a flying mouse, right? Yeah, this one's really f <laughs> There's also arachnid with an exclamation <laughs> point and arachnid with three exclamation points. Yes. <laughs> That's very good. Good enemy names. Oh boy. Okay, and we got mushrooms in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Look at his tail. No, it's a nose. <clears throat> and when I was old, I thought it was eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a part of the game where we gotta do a lot of uh, back backtracking for backs. Oh, come on. I feel like the back spread of this is just going to be the same as the front spread. Probably. Still have to get it though. There should be an enemy where the back sprite is uh, extremely shitty and pixelated, like the Gen 1 Pokemon ones. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so here's another enemy pun name that I'm a fan of. This uh, snake chicken is a slither hen. I... Oh, is it a Slytherin pun? I didn't realize that. I mean, I don't know if it's specifically Slytherin from Harry Potter, but I guess just like Slytherin, maybe. It works well either way. Yeah. Snape on a train, Slytherin into theaters this summer. Ah, uh, it's just PK love. You feel, as, you feel as though you may be pushing your luck. Yes. These are reminding me of, like, the animals in Avatar that are, like, two animals oh, yeah. smushed together. We will, we will somehow make a fan theory that they are connected. Oh no, I tried to, I tried to press <laughs> on. <laughs> Good turn. Good, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna guard until I can get this thing to work. There we go. Yeah, pretty much. What a good spread. I forget. Do those have the ability to mushroomize you and make you walk backwards? I can't remember. I think that's all the enemies on the railway. Yeah. We're still not done with stuff, though. We're gonna have to go all the way back to the forest. Uh, yes. Yeah. And there's uh, actually somewhere else we need to go as well. Is it, uh, deep into the castle? Yes. Oh, I'm killing these things by running into them, I see. Unlike in Earthbound, though, you don't get experience for it. That's fine. I love opening books and reading, like, just the first line, like, that I see. Because this one is just, he smashed the table in front of him. Then, for good measure, he smashed the table in front of her as well. Good. Good job, buddy. I would do something like that, but uh, all of my books have been packed away. Ah, uh, shame. Mm -hmm. So instead, I'll just uh, I'll open a fanfic and do it. I have had this uh, tab open for a month of a story that I haven't even started reading. 
Do you still have uh, the tab of my story open? No. Okay. Good. I do have it saved in a notepad document in case for some reason I ever want to look at it. But... Oh God. Right, There's see. really no um, reason for you to. Uh, okay, this is all pretty much just text from the vanilla book. No, no. It, it, I, I'm like slightly embarrassed that I have an interest in this, but uh, somebody rewrote the first... Uh, they wrote the first three Harry Potter books from Hermione's perspective. I've read the first two. I haven't started the third. So, and a lot of it just is the vanilla text. I like that in, in parts it will change. I like when I occasionally just hear myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. Does this have like a propeller cap? I don't know. Okay, nice. So yeah, um, Nicole, in this game, every battle song, like every enemy has an associated battle song, and every battle song has a like a backbeat to it. And if you press the A button in time with the backbeat, um, then then it will like do extra hits. I can't remember if we fought this or if it was just a similar enemy. I don't remember seeing this around. The music like that. So. That was all you needed, right? Just seeing it's good enough, you don't have to beat it. Yeah. I see Sounds we're now crazy. running over the slither hens. Yeah, apparently. Alright, let me uh, see if I can equip that Pisces bracelet for anyone. Anyway. <laughs> what? The mouse was like blinking. Yeah, because it got run over. <laughs> An undeniably plain stick. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to talk about here. Um, bust out the random topic generator again. Well, I could actually oh, read no. those things. <laughs> What thing? They're like, you know those stories where like one person writes the line and then the next person writes the line? Oh, so like Bog of the Bait at four. Right? Yeah. yeah, our class did one of those in our like storytelling class. They were pretty good. I can read them if you want. For oh, Sure. I can, I can at least see how interesting it is. Okay. I will be extremely judgmental. Yes. There was a lovely mer person who lived in a wave pool. Though the pool was shallow, their love of the water ran deep. <laughs> you could also say it ran as deep as the water they were trying and failing to stand in. So I guess no longer a mer person. They decided to walk around on their tiptoes like ballerinas. Soaring so high. Now there's melts ball. Yes. Soaring high and dreaming about great things of life. Great then festivals. she throws herself in the lake and swims like it's going to be her last. Soon she find out found finds out that she must swim fast because a giant seahorse started chasing her and is trying to eat her. <laughs> the only way she could get away from the seahorse was by finding a surfboard and trying to make it to an abandoned island. In the way. Before... Cool. It, it, <laughs> so, what, what, what were the people writing this aware of the previous sentences or no? Um, only like the next, like the first sentence. Like you, you would see the sentence before yours, but not any of the other ones. So it really was part of the victim four. Okay. So what is this yes. stupid? Um. The only way she could get away from the seahorse was by finding a surfboard and trying to make it to an abandoned island. But before she could reach the island, a giant whirlpool appeared and sucked her down to the depths of the ocean, where the kraken appeared and spoke to her. You are the most beautiful creature I have ever seen. Let's make some kraken babies. And oh. so they did. The end. Oh. I see. 
think the gnome one might have been better. I can read the gnome one. There's only two. Okay, sure. Once upon a time in a magical land far away lived an angry old gnome. He lived in a cave with his five brothers and six sisters. One day, he decided to go out and find a cave that was just for him. He coughed up phlegm. He found a perfect cave along the beach. It was lined with all sorts of crystals inside. He moved into his new home, but soon noticed strange things happening. Crystals seemed to disappear and reappear in different places, and he thought he heard singing coming from the ocean. He went to take a closer look at what was making the sound, but on his way, stumbled into a trap. The trap sent him rolling down the hill, all the way into a deep, dark cave. So from a cave into a different cave? Yes. Okay. When he reached the bottom of the cave, he couldn't even see the tip of his nose or the top of his toes. It was so very dark. But on this landing, he could see what he came for. So, wait, so what's the problem we're having with this? Are you just trying to get a drop from these enemies, or...? No, I'm trying to get past them. It fucking killed Boney before. I went back to the oh. hot spring. I came back. This thing will not die, and it does way too much damage. I'm sorry. Oh, it fucking killed three team members? I didn't see that. Huh? Goodness. It said they were all down. Mm, no. Oh, it said down. Okay, down meaning like a stat down. I think you were looking at an equipable item. Oh, never mind. What the hell is this music? It's just a remix of the previous. Like, like forest music. Red roll. It's all okay. weird. Yes. And another red roll. Which heals like 3 HP, what the fuck is this? It's a purple version of the other spud bug. Maybe if you use it on a different character, it'll randomly heal a lot more HP and confuse the fuck out of you. <laughs> I mean, that does sound like a thing that would be in these, what, like, in these games. What was that specifically a reference to? Uh, that was the Delta Rune, like the... There was different oh, okay. cookies, different things or something. And the tea that different characters liked. Well, I suppose that would make sense, because uh, this game has the different, like, Earthbound had a character that likes different food from everybody else. This has, like, some characters like cheese and some don't, and then Undertale and Delta Room were based off of these. So. Why are there so many moles? Well, these are the regular ones, and then the other ones are like turned into cyborgs. Yeah. Okay, there's. There should only be one more enemy. Actually, no, there's two. There's one I can technically get later, but the guide recommends doing it now, so like, whatever. Little Miss Marshmallow. Oh. Oh. Did not expect that bush to be an enemy. It is. <laughs> we, we encountered it earlier. Well, it, it wasn't walking around, so I just thought it was a bush. It really do be walking around, though. I'm gone. You don't stop to walk around. Walk around out the world. I like how I've started quoting the, like, you know, really do be walking around or whatever, and I don't actually know what it's from. I've just heard you and Joel say it. Oh, I'll, uh, show you later. Oh, fuck off. How the fuck do these things take so much damage? No. That was absolutely a noise from Tante. Hey, oh my god. Or at least the Grow series. Yeah, yeah, level up. Okay. Goods. <laughs> Bag of big city fries. Yes. You know what I hate? When books have that, like, half cover thing. You know what's bullshit? I don't know, what you mean. I don't know how 
to explain it. It's just like when the front cover like is cut off like a centimeter away and there's like this kind of like shiny paper that has all of the reviews on it on like the next page. But like, I just, I hate it. I hate it so much. It's the same vibe as when like the pages are cut at uneven length to make mm. like this sort of like wavy effect on them. The the cover thing bothers me a lot more than the uneven pages though. I just it doesn't look good. I I think I need to see a picture to know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just, I generally just don't like it when books have, like, a loose paper cover in the first place, because it just kind of flops around, so I usually end up taking it off when I'm trying to read it. There you go. Alright. We are finally done with, uh, grabbing back sprites of regular enemies. Um, I sent it. So I should probably just like cut... The... Oh, yeah, what the hell? Yeah, let me cut, actually, yeah. sorry. Uh, next time, not next time, but um, when I get back, we'll be somewhere else I need to be. Oh, okay, so we are back in uh, yes. this place. Um, He's levitating a <laughs> pair of Pegasus boots for reasons I don't understand. Yes. I like his face. <laughs> Wasn't the... Wasn't the worst the first like, fight? Wasn't, wasn't the first fight against this guy like fucking horrible? Yeah, it kind of was. And my strategy was yogurt. Um. <laughs> Doom Doom Considering the problems that the yeah, monsters were giving earlier, I'm slightly concerned about this. But uh, well, let's take this puts offense down first, and it's also. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, just give him the pamphlet. He's weak to cry. Okay, that's pretty good offense decrease. Uh, I like wall staple. Yes. Yeah, it's the leg staple like bag. bag. Let's also put his defense down. Play the brown note. <laughs> Fucking brown note. I don't want religion in my game. I don't remember my Luigi being that stretchy. <laughs> I poked a bunch of holes into the, uh, bottle cap on, on this bottle, and now I can make Damn an obnoxious it. noise with it. Wonderful. I'm glad. Yes. This guy won't be too much trouble. I'm surprised at how many random songs are in this medley. Yeah. I don't know a lot of them by name, but they just played the, uh, like, typical Halloween spooky song. It's Takata and Fugue in D minor by JS, JS Buck. So, da 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 that's Beethoven. Yeah, that's Beethoven's fifth. Yeah. We had Hallelujah. Uh, let's see if I can remember all these. Is there yeah, this is Takata and Fugue in D minor. Oh, there is game. I just had to turn it up. There is what? Oh, you weren't hearing. I, I didn't have game audio before, but that's because I had and then, yeah, the audio. like audio or chorus whatever turned all hand, the way though, down. Actually, it might not have been handle. I'm not sure. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, I don't remember what this is called. Uh, wait, is no, this is spring. Draw? No, no, it's not spring. Da, 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 da. I actually don't remember. I want to say it's Vivaldi, but I actually don't know. There were, um, in the old theme, there were some other songs as well. There was, um, I think, uh, 
want to say, uh, what the fuck is his name? Tchaikovsky? One of his, like, piano concertos or something. Uh, actually, Lucas, you're probably best served doing well. Actually, you should probably use healing on yourself so you can actually hit stuff. You can have my big good dance. If you look hard enough, his body has, like, an angry bird face. Yeah, I can see it. It does. That is not my interpretation here. You were fighting a weird, angry bird spirit with giant arms, and the head is just a kind of weird like eyebrows. bust of boobo. I was gonna say a Greek bust, but that works. Well, you can't say the word bust without saying bust of boobo. Yeah, into the kitchen sink. <laughs> Isn't that basically just like the psychic type Dynamax move? What was it? Or ghost type dynamite. There's a move that just throws a bunch of random shit. Uh, oh, I think that's the ghost one. Yeah. Because it's supposed to be like a poltergeist. Well, there is also yeah. the move poltergeist. Which doesn't exist according to me yesterday. Hmm. Except I didn't even say that, I just forgot about it. Some of those they introduced in the Gen 8 DLC are pretty cool. I'm disappointed at how little of the, like, new moves and abilities introduced after Gen 5, I actually remember. Remember. Okay, good, dude. <laughs> this is getting old. Oh, no. <laughs> Does the dog die? Ah, he's fucked. <sighs> I hate that I didn't have enough time for that. That was bullshit. <laughs> Gotta keep myself alive. Can give. You, yeah, get to tower. you just keep PK firing. PK freeze! I like how we just kind of came back to this castle for no reason other than to beat up a composer ghost. It wasn't really doing anything. Yeah, 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 I got 16 hits. Nice. Finally. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, such a random HP amount. It's 2,897. Like, just make it 2,900 or 3,000. What the hell? Oh one. fuck, I forgot Bonoob wouldn't get experience. Yep. Anyway, um... This is Dust Dusta's ultimate weapon. <laughs> oh, okay. Seems Wait, what? oddly oh, early for it to be his best weapon. Yeah. Where'd it go? Oh. So yeah, now we have thrown out. out. Look at that. Isn't Boney also dead in the last boss fight? He's probably falling behind in level if I had to guess. Uh, slightly. Yeah, that much. All right. Anyway, and now we gotta head all the way back across the train tracks. So, uh, oh my God. see you guys there. Unpausing because uh, Lucas and Kumatora got their periods at the same time, and Kumatora got hypnosis. Okay, and uh, Lucas got shield. There you go. Exciting. I will see you back at uh, the other end of the no, railway again. Oh, okay. Uh, so Josh was actually right, because I just thought of something that we could do. Uh, which is, we, we've got Duster. There's somebody who might like to see him. Oh. Where's the com Where's the guy that makes a comment about, like, sexual harassment, though? I can't remember. You have legs, right? Well, if nothing else, we can get a uh, thunder bomb out of it. I'm glad that's still back there. Yeah, still lives here. That's a replenishable item, Lethers. You can always go behind that house and get a thunder bomb. 
every time you leave the area and come back? It's because Wes refills it. Yes, because he's just compelled to do so. Yeah, anyway, okay, now I actually will see you on the other end of the railway. Okay, 35 minutes into this video, we're finally back where we started. Excellent. Oh, there's a fucking and, hospital. Uh, I have uh, no recollection of what is coming up. This is not the most memorable part of the game. God oh, damn it, why fun. is it always moles? <laughs> uh. Don't need this stick. A stick and two dollars. What a discovery. Let's see. Love how we still have this pamphlet. Yes. Yes. I know it does actually kind of have a purpose. I'm not sure when that comes up, though. Yeah, so just for reference, the shoes you can buy here are plus 17, the ones we got from Lord Passion are plus 40, and they raise other stats too. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Anyway, there's a like shit ton of new stuff, so I suppose we'll, uh, we'll do some shopping. Oops, I didn't mean to save. Uh, yes. Are the, are the gloves Kumatora? I never actually knew what weapon she uses. Yeah, it's Kumatora. Do a bit of inventory management. Just For some reason, I just kind of never questioned like what her standard attack was. Mm -hmm. Bonnie should be the uh, user of random items. Yeah, I do love that. It's just like Bony fulfills the same role as Jeff. He's just the person to unload all your items on. Yes. Except Duster is Jeff, but whatever. Mm -hmm. He's already holding the salt water gun, okay. Let's also sell these sticks. Some worms, perhaps. Is it a B or a D? A P, perhaps. Or a, or a Q. And a Q, perhaps, or a P. Okay, these gloves are trash. Okay, the problem is, I don't know, like, what I need to buy. <laughs> because... Okay, I've got a stick that's better than the one there. I'm leaving that alone. I think I do want to buy the gloves. Um, so, okay. Let me, let me actually write this down so I don't forget. Gloves. Okay, and then... A leather glove. You mean DCMC boxers. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> you've got Mini Mini Charm, which kind of sucks. you got the Chick Bandana, which is plus five. Chris Bracelet is plus five. Skull Ribbon sucks. Chris plays that, okay. Equipment management is my favorite part of any game. Yeah, this this is yeah, part really? I'm not fond of in RPGs. Okay, let's... For Lucas... I mean, most of these, right? Okay, I assume the Ribbon is only equivalent to like Fumatora, so for, for Lucas we'll get the Fly Charm. Okay. How very random. Yes. Everybody get a fly charm. Uh, probably. It increases her PP slightly, but that's fine. Okay, I do like the stuff here. So you can get a spare bandana, right? I like the way that uh, equipment is handled in FF14, where there's like 5 million different pieces of equipment you can buy and there's no reason for almost any of it because there is just an objectively best set and you just get that by running the dailies a bunch and getting the like special currency to buy them okay so i want to buy lucas a sparrow bandana i think oh no can you not equip them you looked why the why fuck did you, you not why? <laughs> uh, I was always uh, tired. Uh, 
okay. But I will get him a Capricorn bracelet. Okay. Copernicus. That was my end part. Okay. But he can't equip anything, can he? Fuck. Actually, I think he, well, he can equip something. What is it? He has a white collar. Okay, I don't think he can. I don't think he can pull out the charms. Okay, I'll put my money away. I didn't even spend that much of it. Oh, no, I spent most of it. That's fine, though. Okay. <laughs> right. Alright. At long last, we can now do something, I'm sure. Mm hmm. We can get more back sprites. Yay! Parental, Parental Kanga oh. Shark. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, you know. Like, I like the baby one in this pouch. I uh, don't remember what the lion is called, and I can't really tell what its body is other than Doc Ock. <laughs> Love that. It does look very uh, surprised to see you, though. <laughs> I like its face. All three of them. Joel took a uh, bunch of stuff over to the like storage area near the new place, and I guess he's looking at the house now. He said, uh, I'd forgotten or somehow didn't notice how much work the house needs. The walls are all pretty dirty. There's that one hole in the wall that uh, didn't get fixed. The carpets are destroyed, oh. um, and there's no fridge. God. Oh. That sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah, when we went, like, when we checked it out the first time, I remember the hole in the wall, because it, it looked like somebody just punched the wall, and we're like, okay, yeah. it's fine, whatever, we can fix that, I guess. Um, the only things I remember about this place are that, uh, the fact that my bedroom is aggressively pink, <laughs> and um, there's, like, a large bookshelf built into one of the walls. That's basically it. Oh, and the solar panels that are costing us a bunch of money. Let's see. So yeah, Doc Ock Lion. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Alright. And there should be one more enemy around here. There we go. Oh. The turtle looked fairly depressed, <laughs> but uh... Seeing it from the back is uh, not what oh I was talking It is guns. You gonna turn around sometime? Oh, nope. Uh huh. Jeez. Fucking boot it. <laughs> no, you can't. Oh, the man. professor of being a dog. Ooh, faced. Faced. Yeah. I mean, it is stupid, but th that's what he says. What the hell movie was that again? What? Oh, it just turns around by itself. I see. No. Ow. I think it's called Cabin Fever. Yeah. Mm. I need to find the picture of, uh, the bony cosplay. It'd be nice if I could fucking spell. Let's actually save again. Okay. I will post it in the chat here. I love it. He is beautiful. Yes. See, I, I like how, uh, you know, your 
first time seeing the game with no context, Boney was just in that stupid outfit. <laughs> Uh, because we had to get into a club that didn't allow dogs, so he put on a shirt and a hat and walked on his hind legs, and they're like, huh, this dog-like dude is really weird, and what happened to that dog before? Well, I guess we can let you in. Oh my god. <laughs> it was really good. I like the face on this. Shark. Yes. yes. <clears throat> Oh boy. Jump in a random hole and win a prize! Yeah, I have no recollection of this part. I, I, I was wondering if we were going to be getting to the uh, overly gigantic cricket tunnel, but. Uh... Oh no, that's. Wait, that's chapter 7. Oh, what? Did you get a free Capricorn bracelet? Bro. Wish I knew that. Yeah. Learn from my mistake, I suppose. Seems a weak to ice. Uh. They are dragon types. For some reason. It'd be like dragon ground. Actually, to be fair, it does look like a... Yeah, I mean, yeah, never mind. I'm stupid. I realized why I said that. Because Garchomp is a land shark. Which is not a thing, but, um... <laughs> Like it's, it's, no, based it's based on, um, uh, uh, that's not a dragon type. It's based know, on, um, it it's based on construction worker clowns. Um, the problem is that those aren't a real thing. Yes, no, bodybuilder clowns. <laughs> oh, bodybuilder clowns. Yeah, no, um, Kangaskhan is on Lance's team in Pokemon Stadium, and I've seen other people refer to it as, like, looking trick, like, draconic, and, and I guess. I guess. Sure as hell doesn't look like a regular kangaroo, but yeah, it's just like a... It's a Gen 1 Pokemon. Half of them are just random dinosaurs. Yeah. And I don't even mean that as a bad thing. I kind of wish they'd do that more often, or stuff is just weird, nondescript creatures. And then we'll get, you know, people arguing over, like, is this a duck or a platypus? And it was a pillow, it's, right? It, it's, oh, I thought it was a cake. Oh, yeah, what if it's cake. neither and both? There's a lot of uh, blinking going on currently. Oh, this guy mistakenly yeah. says that in the holes you can find an Ares bracelet. I mean, can you also find one of those? Uh -huh. Incredible, incredible. I'm actually trying to think of one that isn't mole. Um, maypole. What did you call it? Maypole. Starts with an that? H or mine. I don't know. Isn't that <laughs> like a? Isn't that like a thing that people like dance around for like a festival? It's like a thing. Oh, maybe. No uh, idea. H and rhymes with mole. Um, H. Zone. There's gotta be something here. Uh, there's whole, whole spelt H O H L, which is not a word and it sounds just like a, a German loan word, probably. It's a German surname, so you're okay. partly right. Uh, hard coal. There's a good one. Good. Half soul. These are bad. 
Yeah. Hexadrol. The hell? <laughs> Hamburger roll. What do you mean heavy <laughs> dirt? Heavy dirt. No, heavy dirty soul. All is one word. <laughs> I click on it, so sorry, we don't have a definition for this, and why do you fucking have it on the page? Uh, those, those work off of, like, bots that scour di dictionary websites, so it must have been on dictionary at some point and gone take it down. Where? I do like how one of the things, uh, listed to rhyme with whole is, uh, Center for Disease Control. <laughs> Amazing. Rhythm Method of Birth Control. <laughs> Wasn't there another name for that? Or try is all. Okay. <laughs> Hanneman walks away. That's where you get the screw attack. Yes. No, it's mocking that you need the screw attack to enter. She said it on ironically. <clears throat> I, love, I love this stupid thing. Oh, yeah, I, I was gonna like call it what it was, and I'm like, no, that'd be spoilers, but uh, not really. I like the full on junk heap. Full on junk heap? Forlorn. Okay. Full on rapist. Probably. Have I shown you that? Nope. It was, uh, Charlie from Always Sunny. Uh, he's trying to, like, impress people on dates and is, like, looking up things that would be, like, good to tell people even if they're not true at all. And he, uh, was trying to call himself a philanthropist, but he called himself a full-on rapist. <laughs> oh, no. Terrible. How the fuck did I sneak up on this thing? <laughs> Well, it's something you don't like. People's knees. <laughs> milk steak? That that's not a thing. Yeah, my milk steak. I love it. It's my favorite food. Oh hey, it's, it's so nice a puppy fi. I like puppy fi. Not a lot of those in this game so far. Of simpler times. Which makes sense. Ah yes. Ooh, it's Actually, raining. Considerably worse times. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm specifically referring to the fucking job I had at Servicom. Ah. That was when we played through that game. Is this a... Sorry, uh, that probably came off, like, is me being weird, but no. Is this a, an unremarkable spot? Is it the developer's favorite spot? God, should be. What is an unremarkable spot? I don't know, I've been getting this, these videos recommended called, like unusual and unremarkable spots in Ocarina of Time, and then one from Majora's Mask as well. Okay, then. Does it just include... Does it include the beta cave? Uh, I don't recall. It's it, it's from the thumbnail, it seems to just be like random corners that don't have any anything in them. Good. <clears throat> oh, I like the, uh... I'm definitely a fan of the beta cave and the, uh the various, like, unadvertised Song of Storms grottos <laughs> that you would never fucking find. Yeah. And then Majora's Mask just has, like, a few random grottos. There, there's, like, way fewer than in Ocarina of Time. <coughs> they don't really do much. Mm-hmm. You stopped them for randos. Yep. Hmm, interesting exchange here. 
Oh, I wasn't even paying attention, but I think I know what they were saying. Yeah. yeah. It is like aggressively raining, and I really want to go frolic. <laughs> we'll be done pretty soon. Don't let your <laughs> dreams be dreams. Yes. Just do it! <laughs> Good. Oh, boy, the kindness stat. Isn't there's that definitely an option something. Yeah, I should say the non-existent kindness stat. Can I not get into that machine? Okay. I want to walk into the big zappy machine. F forgive me, sir. Can't believe a typo. That's all this is. I can't believe a typo. So mean a typo. They mix some weird stuff <laughs> in with the clay. Yes. Creepy. The weird stuff they mix in is uh, and, uh, the, uh, the hearts of orphans. And androgyny. Oh, nuts, I forget. Hmm. A boogie woogie rhythm. I love it. <laughs> I like the presents that just contain experiences. <laughs> also, that's totally a DS. Oh, yeah. It's one of those uh, show ones that they'd have at, like, events. Like, fucking Pokemon Village. Pokemon Village, what? Yeah, so, like, in 2009 or something. <clears throat> okay, so, like, in the, the town I used to live in, there was an there's an annual air show where like um there's some local there's a local group of like famous pilots that do like some show flights with uh you know whatever they're called the streams of the colored smoke and stuff um and there's i think i think there might be other plane related things going on but then also it's just an excuse for a bunch of like you know set up events and like temporary things and uh for one of the years there was like a pokemon event set up where you can get a regigigas and some cards and random shit and I, i've actually told you this story before because there was like um there was like s six stations and you had to do at least four of them to get like you had to stamp off like a ticket and then you could trade these in for like a, a card of one of the Sinnoh starters this is all to like celebrate platinum and i couldn't get the regigigas event because i didn't have a gen 4 game yet but um I still wanted the, to get the card, so I went around, and I remember, I've told this story to you before, but, um... It is sounding vaguely familiar. There was, uh, the, one of the stations was, like, a, a Pokemon catching tutorial, because I guess the one in the game isn't fucking thorough enough, um, <laughs> where, basically, you had to sit down on these, like, sofas, and they had a DS hooked up to, like, a giant screen through some kind of capture card, and, uh, like... So the the <clears throat> the guy on the save file had a Chimchar, and then they ran into some Pokemon, and they're like, first we got to weaken it, so what move do you think we should use? <clears throat> it's like, scratch, growl, or fire? And me being a smart-ass, uh, nine-year- ten-year-old, I stuck on my hand, I'm like, um, isn't it called Ember? And he's like, yeah, but the kids here are like five. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember he was very frank with me, he's like, yes, it's Ember, yeah. but, I mean, look how old these kids are. <laughs> Um, I, I used know. ground. This might be a good place to cut the video. <laughs> oh my god. Christ. Um, I didn't know we were watching a 2007 era Dead High video. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it really is. Christ. <laughs> It looks bad. Yeah, it's bad. Bad? Bad? I want to say this is an enemy that only sometimes spawns here. Let me see. Occasionally, the entire road it just turns into a pterodactyl, but it's not very common. There's... There's... I can go a little bit longer. 
Oh yeah, it's this one. Oh, fuck's sake. Not the music I would have expected for a robot, but okay. Turns out that this robot is actually a reference to an obscure Japan-only game released on the, like, <laughs> limited edition, like, Virtual Boy 2. Oh boy. I don't know where I'm going with this. Yeah, pork bean. Oh. oh I didn't even notice those. <laughs> like, I noticed them, but I didn't, like, register what they were. <laughs> Does it say Club Titty Boo? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we were mentioning Club Titty Boo at the beginning. Well song. Mm. Ooh, I recognize this music. Mm -hmm. Let's see, it looks like you want to use fire and crying. And also something else that I uh This isn't the only place this plays, right? No, there's other there's other battles that this plays. There was a shield on. Yeah, I guess. I seem to remember that uh like Metaton, there's like you know, like in the Metatons fight, if you use items that are like on brand, you get extra points. And here, I think it like responds well to merchandise. Mm -hmm. So let's put his offense down. Uh, so yeah, this is what the DCMC pamphlet is for. Oh wow, a pamphlet! <laughs> Jealous of you having a pamphlet. <laughs> yeah, apparently. And wasn't he at the club? How did he not get one? Oh, I think the shield is actually protection from Psy. I think that was a waste. Oh well. Do we ever get an explanation for this? Is this just some... He's just a big buff dude? Yeah. Like, That's okay. it. I'll Do you need more than man. that? I mean, a little bit. <laughs> He's got bananas on his arms. I, I, I'm going to just insist that that's what those are. Almost. God, for some reason, every time, like, this is now the third time in this video that this has happened, where when you get to Duster and, like, I'm not really looking at the top of the screen where it's, like, displaying your options, I keep reading Kick as KKK, and I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Obviously, it's my, uh, want to see my bum rush. It's my internal racism bursting forth. Really? Clearly. Clearly. <laughs> Do we both say clearly to that? Yeah. Clearly. Clearly. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jar of horseradish. 
I'm not really sure what to say about this fight, honestly. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty straightforward. Is the pamphlet the only merchandise you can have? I don't think so. Let's see if we can use it. Oh, I might be able to use it again. Oh, never mind. There you go. It's right. actually way weaker than Lord Passion, apparently. <clears throat> There you go. I think that'll be a good stopping point then. Boy, you've got a lot of level ups. I forgot about the pickled veggie plate. <laughs> okay. Good shit. Alright. Well, that'll be it for, the, for today. Uh, next time we'll take the pork bean and continue to search for the full long drunk heap. Uh, and hopefully, and probably the egg the pork, that right? uh, does to put into it. Yes. And Goodbye. Bye. Eh. Uh.